What's up, everybody? It's Kevin here from Happy Beard Games, and today is a Wednesday, a Wee Wednesday. We're returning to Wee Wednesdays with a slightly different style, and that is live stream format. While this video itself is not a live stream, it will contain gameplay footage from my past live stream edited into a condensed format with maybe some more stuff thrown in. And the edits will make the video run smoother for the future viewers. Today's video is a quick play of the Nintendo Wii game, Counter Force. Counter Force is a Star Fox 64 style 3D shoot 'em up type game. Uh, you play as a giant mech robot like a Gundam or a Transformer, going down cities destroying monsters and aliens and robots in a Star Fox 64 style, and then at the end fighting a boss fight just like Star Fox. Uh, this is a bargain bin game. I see it pretty often uh, in like shovelware and bargain bin piles. Low price, three dollars, half price books. Um, yeah, Counter Force today on Nintendo Wii for Hybrid Games' Wii Wednesdays. Come to Wii Wednesday. I've got a special Wii drink today. No, this is not alcoholic, but it's uh, Energy Mio Blue, because the Wii has that blue light. Anyways, let's jump in with Counter Force on Wii Wednesdays. Counter Force, the power is you. What? What was that? <laughs> Counter Force, the power is you. Oh my god. Kind of seems like a PC game that got ported to Wii. I could be wrong about that uh, because there was some other like low budget like bargain shovelware games for the Wii that I have that are just like PC ports like Canada Hunt. Uh, let's start a new game, which I guess is the only other option. Okay, we've got Bumblebee. Uh, Dynamus. There's a lot of power, but not a lot of speed. We've only got six seconds to choose. Uh, I'll go with this guy. Just, yeah, okay, we'll go this way. I don't know why they only give you a few seconds. Dynamus. 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 Mm. Let me see if I can turn up the sounds so I can actually hear what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know. I was trying to change the volume, but I can't really hear the game that well. But I don't know why. Like, the light... Whoa, okay. Here we go. Let's <laughs> start the game. Um... What? Oh, I can move with... Okay, what? Okay. Oh, here we go. This is kind of neat. I wasn't really expecting anything. I was actually expecting more like a Galaga, but... This is weird. This is really weird. Like, they took... They combined, like, a shoot 'em up and, like, a third-person on-rail shooter kind of at the same time. Kind of cool. Um, hey, what's up? As it scrambles the death dealer, Bram. I can't. I can't read. I don't know why uh, the name got cut off on my stream, but I'll, I'll adjust that after this level. Uh, I'm just playing some Wii games for Wii Wednesday, which is a series that I've done on my channel in the past. This is the first time I've done it live, uh, and I'm I'm playing the game Counter Force, which I think is a Wii exclusive game. Um, oh, that shocked me. And it's a little chaotic of a game. It literally just jumped me in at this point. You got like the pointer controls to move, or to aim rather. And you got the thumbstick to move. And wow. Um, you're just shooting things down the city, spaceships and such. And dodging bullets. It's really hard to uh, see this game. It's either bright flashes or it's just shadowy. Shaded. Hmm. Mega laser is ready. Is that the B button? Can't even. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> I'm trying to progress. Okay. Uh, this is yeah. This is really fast paced. Cars kind of look like F Zero, something from F Zero. There's some hearts, and green is shield, I guess. Yeah, green is shield. This is this is a little bit like Star Fox 64 looking, a little bit. There's gonna be a boss in this area. Okay. I've done one live stream, said Brambles. I've been planning on doing a second, so I'm soon playing Kid Chameleon for Sega Genesis. That's an awesome game. I love Kid Chameleon. Yeah, this is kind of like a Star Fox, I guess. It's not... 
a little chaotic and like fast. I don't know. It's, there's a way I can do bombs, and there's some kind of mega laser I have too. And this looks like Mecha King Ghidorah right here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Boss design. Alrighty, let's. Is that? I think you're supposed to be aiming at that red center. That's what I'm doing. Try some other attacks. I don't know. They didn't give you like a controls or anything like that. So I don't know how to attack really. And there's not that many buttons. Well, there's a lot of buttons on the Wii and Nunchuck, but it's hard to figure it out when you're going so fast. A. Shoot. C. There's some kind of lock on thing. And it's hard. Oh, I blew up. Well, I'm going to continue, of course. Oh, okay. It's just like an arcade game. Okay. I wonder if this was actually in the arcades. Yeah, the bar from the best with that Mecha King Ghidorah. And there's other ways you can do like bombs and stuff, but I don't. I still have three bombs. I'm not sure how to use them. Did I beat him? He did? No? Whoa, okay, never mind. I couldn't move for a second there. I think I used. I used the bomb. Okay, the bomb is the one button. For some reason, they put it way down at the bottom on the one button. Uh, let's try that one button again. That's a bomb. It's like an airstrike bomb thing. I'm gonna use my last bomb. I got one of his heads blown off. I mean, I'm supposed to be aiming at the heads, not the centerpiece. That that makes sense. There should be a way to speed up. I, this character that I picked, there was multiple characters, and the one that I picked had slow speed but high power. We're picking up all this gold here. Points, so, yeah. Okay, hey, thanks for sharing, Brian, man. Uh, my friend Brian, who helped me out with the stream and stuff, too, so thanks for sharing that on Twitter. Um, yeah, that boss was pretty cool. Um, so I can buy stuff with the gold that I picked up. Lock energy system extension bar. Shield energy or energy. I'm going to choose energy. And more energy. Oh, you get like health and you get health expansion. That's pretty cool. Uh, with a violent shudder, Dracena, the mighty exploded. The robot detected no threat from Dracena's forces. Okay, well. It went away a little fast. The Cave to Hell! Episode 2! Whoa! Prepare to battle. Cool, cool. Oh wow, that's that's another dark stage. Could be a video setting, but I think it's just a dark game. I kind of wish the character, the, the robot that I'm playing as, wow, I kind of wish the character that I'm playing as wasn't so big. He kind of gets in the way, especially when you this cave. Uh, it's hard to see behind, in front of him when he's blocking the view. I guess I could leave him over to the side and then aim at the other side, like I'm doing now. Can I just hold down the button to shoot, or do I have to keep clicking it? I think I have to keep clicking it. Power up? What's that? It's power up. I'm kind of understanding a little more now. It's pretty basic, but it just it throws you in so fast. Jeez. I'm not sure how to speed up. If there even is one, because I want to be able to dodge these things a little faster, like those fires on the ground. I think if you just keep going, you'll speed up gradually, seems like. Let's try the Z button. Z button. Doesn't do anything. Or does it? Maybe it does that. I don't know. Kind of confusing. My health is low at the moment. Energy. It's, it's pretty cool little game. I think this could have been an arcade game. Um, arcade port. I've never played the arcade version or seen it anywhere, but it just has that arcade style with the continues and all the points, and it's like a light gun game. Which is one of the cool things about the Wii, you get a lot of light gun arcade ports. I'm hoping there's unlimited continues, but if there isn't, that's okay. We're not going to play this too too long. This live stream is probably going to be about an hour. 
half hour to an hour just for starts. Gotta get back to work. Dropped you a thumbs up. Well, thank you so much for that thumbs up. It really does help to get a little more exposure out there to Hagrid Games channel. I think thumbsing up will help get it out there a little bit more. And I appreciate it too. Thanks for watching. These turrets are uh, zapping me. A lot of pickups and power ups in this. Wondering if we're approaching a boss. Oh, there's a statue there. Whoa. Versus, versus Petra. Petra or Petra? I, I think it's. I don't know. There's hand shock waves. Oh wow, we got a giant. Uh, that's where there's one enemy left in the rest of the level. Got a giant, like rancor, looking thing with lasers. I don't have any bombs for this boss fight, though. I, don't, I didn't pick up any bombs. There's got to be a better way to dodge, right? Not sure. Wait, maybe it's swinging. Oh, that would be annoying. I don't like that. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, it is swinging. Oh, I don't like that. You swing the nunchuck, and you can dodge. Let's see if I can continue. Okay. So, like, I'm right here. I'm moving with the thumbstick on the nunchuck. And then I gotta, I gotta go like that to roll to dodge. I was like, I was like, man, like there's gotta be a way to dodge, right? Well, there is, but it's it's a pain in the butt. To do that roll thing. I don't know why they. There might be a button that does the same thing, but it's a little hard. I don't know if there's like iframes like Dark Souls. I'm playing a lot of Dark Souls recently. I don't know if there's iframes. I don't think there is. I think you just dodge. Oh, what? Oh, no. Game over. Game over, man. Uh, we're going to try a little bit more, but I want to uh, check out the options first. We've got... Oh, that's weird. Just move it with the pointer. Um, let's see if I can find Happy Bird Games on here. Happy. Weird. Back. Come back, G. There we go. For the end. Oh, that's kind of weird. A little finicky. Uh, here we go. All right. Uh, save. Save in progress. Do not reset or power off. Alrighty. Let's, uh... There might be a continue, actually. There might be a continue. Um, let's see. You know, leaderboards, high score leaderboards, offline, of course. Um, intro cutscene playing. Let's give it one more shot. Oh, this is explain. Oh, this explains how you well, how you play the game pretty much. Uh, the heart is your health energy. The goal is you used to buy items. I figured that out. The bonus is your lock on energy bar, so you can lock on more enemies. Okay, so upgrades your attack kind of. This one uh, gives you some shield energy, which is like an extra health, kind of like on Doom, I guess. Uh, this is the pri the power of your primary weapon, and this one gives you a boost to your jet engine and increase your overall speed for a limited time. So you you can go forward faster if you grab this item down here. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Let's see what happens. Oh, I was hoping I could load and continue, but that's just options and high scores, I guess. So uh, let's just do... I guess there only is a new game. There's no continue. It's just saving your high scores. We could try a different uh, robot. So we're going to try this one called Sophia. It doesn't give me much time, so I don't want to click on the wrong one. This one's more balanced. Maybe it'll be a little better. And I think that's the one that's on the cover art. All right, let's jump in with The Town of Ruins, Episode 1. This is the second time we're playing through arcade mode. So it should be a little bit easier. I know what to do. You can dodge with the uh, dungeon. Gotta remember that. Destroy different things and the come ahead of you. So I got a booster. It speeds me up. Now I'm going pretty fast. Got that. It's kind of weird how the enemies come up behind you. Like, you know how in Star Fox 64 you can do the slowdown thing? 
Um, I don't think you can do that on this. To get the things that come up behind you. That's a little weird. I don't know why they should come behind you in this game. Alright, let's zap in these bad guys. There's a booster right there if I can grab it. Here we go, booster. My shield is getting low, but the shield is just like an overshield, so it protects you from your health going down. So your health's not going to go down until your shield goes down. So it's kind of like Doom or Halo. And I have three bombs. I'm going to save those bombs for the boss. I think that truck that I blew up uh, damaged me a bit there. It is really flashy, and it's kind of distracting me from the enemies, especially this part where it gets darker. And then there's, like, the lightning flash. Kind of hard to see what I'm doing here. Time. Okay, now it's getting better. We're almost at the end of the level. You have that dodge, which I haven't tried out too much. It's weird, because, like, I'm dodging it this way. Is it reverse? No, it's like I'm always going to the left when I dodge. Which is really weird. Okay, here's the boss, which resembles Mecha King Ghidorah, or just King Ghidorah in general. Alright. Versus Dracaena, the dragon style. It has twin heads and breasts are its weak points, so I'm gonna focus on the heads because there's also the chest you gotta shoot too. Last time I didn't focus on the heads as much at first. Then another thing I'm gonna do is pressing the one button, uh, you can launch a missile strike, or bomb is what they call it. I'm gonna do all my bombs at the start. Probably can just focus on the boss after that. There's the bomb. And what does the two button do? I don't think the two button is anything. So the one button is your bombs. Focus on this right head. I feel like I'm I'm kind of getting the game down, the hang of the game, but there is a few things that I haven't figured out quite yet. I, I think I think there's a few things I haven't figured out. Like what's up with the lock on thing? So it also says mega laser. I don't know how to do a mega laser. Is that A and B at the same time? Kind of playing around with the controls right now. Got a lock on. That mega laser. I don't know. I'm doing some kind of lock on thing with these green targets. I'm not sure helping me or not. It seems like he was easier last time I fought him. Maybe I have to take down the chest first. He's got some kind of blue shield going on here. I think it's a shield. It's kind of like a Shield from Star Trek or something. Bubble right around him. Speaking of Star Trek, uh, in a future Wii Wednesday, I got a new Star Trek game for the Wii that I would like to check out as well. Somehow we got the left head, even though I've been focusing on the right head. It could just be like, that's the way you kill the boss, it always dies that way. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's weird. Oh, hey, I gotta dodge better than this. I'm just pressing all the buttons. A, C, D. Just going all out here. Did I level up? Something leveled up. When I do that green lock, it takes down the lock energy system on our... We have a bar for that. Um, so it does some kind of damage there. I think we beat the boss. It's weird because the other head, did the head blow up last time? I think we got both heads chopped off last time, but we didn't do it this time. It could be because uh, this robot has different stats. It's not as powerful as the other robot we chose, uh, but it does. I'm gonna do extra health. Um, I'm not gonna do anything else. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, we're going to Egypt now. Oh, ew. the cave to hell. So weird. But you're not really going to hell in this. I thought you'd actually go to hell. 
but uh, you don't go there before you die. Alright, we're picking up some points. It is kind of hard, like last time I said when we played this level, to, uh, your character kind of gets in the way of the action. Like, I wish the character wasn't so close up to the screen. I blew up, but that's only our first life lost. I don't think I died in the first stage, so we should have, like, five or four lives, something like that, left. Um, in the game. This is a little tricky to get past these fire vents. The booster... And the, the booster icon kind of bugs me. It looks like one of the bad guy ships, but it's not. It's just like a jet you get to make you go faster for a little bit. Um, but yeah, it looks it looks like one of the bad guys. So it looks like a spaceship to me. It looks like the ship from Gradius or something. It's kind of weird. A lot of shields. My health is at half, but that's just the expanded health. And now we're getting low. There's something out there. Uh, I don't know, like, what am I locking on to? This is red target, and it's stuck there. I don't know how to move that red target. There's so many targets in this. There's the green targets like that. There's a red target way out there in the center of the screen. And then there's the target that I'm moving with the pointer controls. So there's a lot going on. It kind of seems like it would be easy, but it's kind of challenging, actually. And these, these grass is just in the way <laughs> of everything. Barely see. Okay. Turrets. Are these turrets are what's doing the damage? I think. I think. I could be wrong. There's like a blue bomb coming at me. Oh, that, that did damage. That did damage. Those virus bombs. I'm picking a lot of health here right before the boss. Should help me out. So now we're at the boss. We've lost two lives. This is my final attempt. Uh, we've got, well, we've got, I think, two or three more lives. I don't know where it says the lives that you have. Uh, but the weak spot is the head and the little symbol on the chest. That's where we're aiming. I don't have any bombs, and it's weird. I don't know how to pick them up, because the first level you have three. I used them all to help me beat that boss. I guess I should have saved some. I don't know how to pick them up. I try every button in the game. Spam all the buttons, which is kind of a weird way to play a game. What is... something else is shooting me. Or, I don't know, some weird going on here. I used my Mega Laser. I don't know how I did it, though. It was like I pressed everything at once. I think it has to be full on that green bar that's filling up right now. Uh, it says Laser Refueling. So, that's what that electric thingy was. I have to hold it down? Oh! Is that what it is? Okay, we'll try that again when it fills up again, if I can. It looks like you just hold down the button. A, it might have been A, it might have been B. Uh, one of these buttons, <laughs> I'm pressing all the buttons, but I held all the buttons down. And uh, it, um, oh, it blew something up there. It blew his arm. Now let's try it. I think it's the C button. It doesn't aim where your pointer is. I think it aims where the red pointer is. So that's what the red target does. The green target is separate from the red target, and the, I don't know, there's a lot of targeting reticles in this game. It's kind of weird. Uh, but we're doing okay. Doing okay. I would like to dodge, but it doesn't dodge right. Wait, is the Wii remote dodge right? No, okay. I thought it might have been Wii is dodge right, and the Nunchuck is dodge left, because... Seems like it tends to dodge to the left side when I am. Uh, oh, I got hit there. Yikes. Oh no, it, it's the Z button. Okay. I don't, I don't know, I thought it was the C button, but I'm kind of confused at this controls. Could be both. Could be either one. Ah, uh, because it seemed like it worked with both buttons. 
coming down. He's coming down. He broke his arm off. Well, there could be two different types. Look at that. I'm getting good there. These bosses have a ton of health. I feel like the boss fight's going a little long. You know how the bosses in um, Star Fox start out small and they built up? Uh, this game... They just... This is like a boss. I know arcade games are usually pretty long with the boss fights, but... Sometimes it's a yellow shot, sometimes it's a green shot. Did we, did we beat him? Okay, yeah, we got him. Okay, just dropping all these monies. Okay, cool. For a second, that is just be one of the points. Cool, we beat the second boss. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. I got 630 gold. to buy health. Buy a little bit of health refuel, which might have been a waste. Uh, but I got health expansion, so I have more health potentially, but I have to die to get full health again. Or I have to pick it up along the way. Uh, Scorpius the Slayer is the next boss. We have to beat the Sacred Castle in Episode 3 first. And we're just going as far as I can on one last continue. So I don't know if it refuels your lives when you die. Or when you, um, not, not die, but when you beat a level. Probably doesn't. I can't tell if I've got any extra lives or what. What not. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's kind of a. It's not like a perfect game. I have a few gripes of this game so far, but. Most part. It's kind of like a weird arcadey version of like a Star Fox. Even more arcadey. Like, I think it was actually in the arcades. I could be wrong about that. Controls are kind of weird. I, I don't like how the dodging mechanics work. You have to use the nunchuck, and it's just kind of pain. But okay, we lost our life. But look how much life bar we have now. We've upgraded it. So on this life, I should last a little longer. And yeah, I mean, it's going to get harder as we go. But. Wow, there's a bunch of bunch of explosions coming at me. And I guess I can use the mega lasers in the fight too, but it stops me, which is weird. See how I didn't I didn't move forward? Maybe I don't want to use that as much. It refuels on its own as you go along, but I don't have to worry about losing it ever like the bombs. But, I don't know. I don't know how you get more bombs. Is it an item pickup or what? I'm not getting any more bombs. I would like to get more bombs. This is really helpful. Oh, that fire. Oh. There's like acid and things falling off the ceiling. Everything's hurting me. I don't like these little fire things. Oh, I exploded. I've got another continue. I think this could be our last one. It's, it's weird how it doesn't tell you your credits. Okay, we're going down the wormhole here. Took the tunnel from the ring. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa. Alrighty. A lot of pickups here. I should be reaching a boss. Because, uh, that's what I did last time. Versus. We're fighting Scorpios. The weak point is the eye and the tail behind it. Okay, here we go. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Why would I hold my fire? I'm fighting a boss. Hey, something dropped the heart. So you can go around it side to side, but not all the way, it looks like. Eat that, Scorpios. Eat the Mega Laser. I like the boss battles more than the levels. The levels are kind of frustrating. Like, they're really chaotic and kind of hard to tell what's going on. Uh, but the boss battles are fun, and I, I like the boss battles. They remind me of Star Fox. Like, they're pretty close to Star Fox 64-type boss battles. 
The controls are not very good on this game, but um, yeah, I, I'm not talking about the pointer controls. I'm talking about like the nunchuck dodge thing. I, I can't even use it right. If I use it, I feel like I'll crash into something wrong. It'll just mess me up. But it's not. Oh, okay, I'm out of shield now. Try this. I like it hit a lot. I got a rock in nine hits. We've got a lot of health. We've got like full health pretty much. Uh, but we don't have any shield. I might be able to beat this boss. Try big shot here. Got some hits there. I like how there's a hit combo meter on the side, like underneath on the left side of the screen. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of text and HUD on this game too. That, that might be something that distracts me from uh, when there's a bunch of enemies on the level part of the game. The boss the boss battles are pretty easy to focus on. But yeah, let's try another shot with this. Did we get him? No. Okay, he's still going. I think we broke his tail. Once this thing goes up one more time, we should be able to beat this boss. I mean, I've never played this before, but it seems like he's about to wear out. Ooh. The bosses are easier than the main game, which is weird. Or at least the first, this boss, and the second boss, this one, all three of them. A little bit easier than the actual level. So I died on the level all twice. another big laser right here. Yeah, did we get him? No. When you beat him, it's uh, like a bunch of coins come out. Hmm. A few other little enemies flying around him too you can get pick up from. He's not really able to hit me. He's a little slow. Let's try this. That didn't work. Well, it did work. It hit. It didn't kill him. I broke one of his claws, and I broke the tail completely, so... Without running out. I have to wait for my laser to refuel. And let's see if I can hit him with that. Hey, we got him! He's dead. We beat Scorpios. Scorpios, or whatever his name was. Pretty cool, pretty cool. According to the box, there's five bosses. So we are uh, on the fourth level, so there's five levels. I want to buy... Oh, I can't buy any more of those. I have them maxed out. Um, shield or lock on. Oh, you can buy the bombs here. So I'll buy one bomb, and I'll buy a shield, and I'll buy another shield. Okay. That's pretty cool. So that's how you get the shield. I, I didn't really like understand that until now. That's also how you get the bombs. I'm going to save the bomb for the boss, I guess. The bosses aren't too bad, but now we're going to uh, a C level. The Battle of Evermore. That's, Le that's a Led Zeppelin song. Are they going to play the song? Uh, probably not, but I don't think they could get the Led Zeppelin copyrights on this game. Or, like, yeah, I don't think they get the license for that. Hopefully not because they can play on my stream. That's a cool little reference, though. Okay, this level I like better so far. It's more, more enemies. It's probably going to be harder, but this level has brighter visuals. Yeah, it's, it's hard. They got at least turrets. Because C is lock on. Z is your, like, mega laser. Okay, I, I kind of get the controls now. But I think we're about to die, unless I can get that health that's right there. I, I can't even get up to it. Dang, that was a game over. Okay, that, that's my last attempt. I could probably beat it eventually. It's not too bad, uh, but it's it's pretty cool. Oh, thanks, Brian. The game's OST kicks so much butt. I couldn't even hear it. I can, I can hear the explosions, but I can't hear the game. And that's something I'll have to work on later on, um, just by kind of hear it right now, but when I'm playing, all I can hear is like me pressing the A button. 
Okay, hybrid games. Go on Exodus. Yeah, part of this game is a good soundtrack. I'm going to save over the same slot. There we go. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. All right. Get out of here. I got fifth on the built-in leaderboards, which is higher than before. And I got high score. The other one was my old high score, I, I think. I could be I could have a better high score. Let's see. I think I'm over Junko. Junko. Okay, uh yeah, we got five. Cool. Alright, everybody, that was it for today's Wii Wednesday here on Hybrid Games. We checked out Counterforce for the Nintendo Wii. An arcade style, Star Fox 64 style shooter game featuring giant robots and giant monsters and giant monster robots, like a Mecha King Ghidorah style robot for a boss fight. Uh, and this was a quick play that we did on the live stream. So you saw the live chat, you saw the live experience, and now you've got the edited format in this video that you're watching right now. Counterforce is actually a pretty cool game. If you can find it for like a dollar to three dollars, I'd recommend picking it up. It's kind of cool. Uh, it's similar to Star Fox. It's not quite as polished or memorable or big as Star Fox, but it's a fun little game. Um, Counterforce kind of surprised me. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching today's Wii Wednesday on Hybrid Games. Stay tuned for more and more classic game goodness on Hybrid Games. You can check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well, and support me on Coffee. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.